food stays in, what you don't goes out. That's what digestion's all about. Your food starts in your mouth. Your food starts in your mouth. Your teeth break it up with saliva too. And before you can eat something new, it's in your esophagus tube. It's in your esophagus tube. And then your stomach breaks it up again. The food's so small, what happens then? Do your intestinal rolls. Do your intestinal rolls. For some food, the story is done. But the vitamins and minerals go on and run. Your, your blood takes what it needs. Your blood takes what it needs. To your bone, skin, brain, and heart. To make your body strong and smart. What happens to your food? What happens to your food? That what you need stays in, what you don't goes out. That's what you just didn't out! In the digestive system, the mechanical action of teeth grinds food down into smaller particles and the chemical and wetting action of saliva begins the breakdown of starches into more digestible sugars. The food is pushed through the esophagus into the stomach, where gastric acids and muscular churning continue the chemical and mechanical digestion of proteins in the food. In the duodenum, food continues to be digested by the action of other pancreatic and bile secretions. The digested food is absorbed by the body as it passes through the small intestine and moves through the large intestine and rectum. children. Today in anatomy class, we will be learning about the digestive system. I will take you step by step through the digestive process and how the organs work as a team to make the body function properly. Food enters your body through the oral cavity, which is a mucous membrane lined cavity. Your lips and your cheeks protect this opening. The hard and soft palates form the anterior and posterior group. The posterior, in the posterior end of the oral cavity lies the palatine tonsils. The tonsils are a part of the body's suspense system. If the tonsils become inflamed or swollen, they partially block the entrance into the throat. Food is mixed with saliva in the oral cavity. This is where the breakdown begins. After the food is swallowed, the food reaches the pharynx. This is a narrow channel that links the oral cavity to the esophagus. The esophagus attaches the pharynx to the stomach through the diaphragm, which is about 10 inches long. The walls of the alimentary canal organs are made up of four basic types of tissues, including the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and serosa. The food travels from the esophagus to the stomach. Within the stomach, there are several different regions. The, first, the food first travels from the car, through the cardiac region, which lies close to the heart, and surrounds the cardioesophageal sphincter. The fundus is located next to the cardiac region. The body is in the middle of the stomach, which then becomes the pyloric, pyloric antrum. In the, body of the, in the bottom of the stomach lies the pylorus. The stomach is 6 to 10 inches long. When it is full, it can hold 4 liters of food. When it is empty, it collapses in on itself. The stomach s stores the food and breaks it down. The stomach acts as a reservoir for food and has a capacity of 2.5 pints. Within the stomach, Solid food material is churned and kneaded for about three hours until it becomes a semi-liquid mass known as chyme. The chyme is then forced into the small intestine where the process of digestion is completed. The wall of the stomach has three muscular layers, an outer longitudinal layer, a middle circular layer, and an inner oblique layer. As the stomach fills with food, wave-like contractions of the wall begin. And as these waves move along the stomach wall, some of the food is passed through the relaxed muscle valve at the base and into the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, where it is further digested before becoming absorbed into the body. After that, the broken down food enters into the small intestine, which is the major, body's major digestive organ. The small intestine is 8 to 10 inch feet long and has three subdivisions. The duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The, in the duodenum, enzymes are produced by intestinal cells. Enzymes are also produced by the pancreas. This is where they complete the chemical breakdown. Bile from the liver enters the duodenum through the bile conduct and does the same function. From there, most good nutrients and minerals are absorbed into the wall of the small intestine. The small intestine is conjoined with the large intestine at the iliocecal. The large intestine is shorter in length than the small intestine, but is larger in di diameter. It is about five feet long.
large intestine extends from the ileocecal valve, valve to the anus. The major function of the large intestine is to dry out indigestible food by absorbing water. The large intestine, like the small intestine, has five subdivisions. The cecum, the appendix, the colon, the rectum, and the anal cavity. The cecum is a small patch at the beginning of the large intestine. The attached to the cecum is the appendix. Within the colon, the Within the colon, the indigestible food from the ascending goes from the ascending colon to the transverse colon to the descending colon to the sigmoid colon. In the pelvis is the are the sigmoid colon, the rectum, and the anal canal. From there, the indigestible food leaves the body. Break it.